Welcome back. We're talking about Art Attack today, and Anastasia Drake, you did it. Yes. It is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so tell us about the painting, what you created in less than an hour. Okay, this is actually one of my very first paintings I reproduced, and it's called Sunflower Energy. Mm -hmm. I draw a lot of energy from nature, but I wanted something really positive and bright, mm -hmm. and it's one of those pieces that I actually have in my house, and it, it just, it's always bringing positive energy so I when you walk by it you feel good yes okay. absolutely is art therapeutic for you very much so mm -hmm. very much so creating it and just appreciating it later. I appreciate it and I've also done some art therapy work with kids mm -hmm. so um, I, I you know art is yes it's I it goes throughout my life and all different forms and styles and and textures you have so many, so much variety in your work do you like a specific subject matter I don't um, actually the subject matter changes all the time um, depending on what's going on in my life mm -hmm. um, I have the Ganesha over here and the Ganesha was actually he's the Hindu God I'm not Hindu mm -hmm. but um, his symbolism is remover of obstacles so I painted that when I found out that my um, dad had cancer mm -hmm. because we could all use a little less obstacles in our life. Um, and cancer is a big obstacle, no is, doubt. And he's is. doing great now. He is. He was cleared of cancer in January. That's so, so wonderful. Yes. Now you can see um, more of Anastasia's work beginning June 8th at the Jones Gallery on Walnut Street in Kansas City. It will be on display through July 6th. You can see all of her beautiful pieces. Now tell us, who are you donating this piece to? I am donating to the Hope Lodge mm -hmm. um, because when my father was diagnosed with cancer, uh, he mm -hmm. lives down in southeast Kansas and there's no resources. They have to come to Kansas mm -hmm. City. They told us this treatment would take eight weeks every day. That's 200 miles round trip a day mm -hmm. and just the resources weren't there, the time, the energy, he was going to be sick and we discovered the Hope Lodge and I love the Hope Lodge. We didn't end up having to mm -hmm. use it but it is a resource that's there and when we toured um, I was so overwhelmed with how much goodness is there and how um, positive the people are. Speaking of positive people, let's bring in Danica Cherry on who who works with Hope Lodge. Thank Hello. you so much. What do you think about oh this Oh my gosh, piece? it's amazing. I'm very it excited. Beautiful. Thank you so Thank much. Do you know what you'll do with the art? Yes, um, we are actually going to donate it to our Cattle Barons Ball mm -hmm. silent auction, um, which proceeds come directly to Hope Lodge um, from the painting. Um, it's going to be on June 15th, mm -hmm. and if you want to buy tickets, it's going to be, um, you can go to kccattlebaronsball.com. So, Thank you so much. It's going to be so great. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's bring Crystal in. What do you think about this? I mean, wow. it's, it's always so impressive to me when you see artists create work in less than an hour, and then it turns out so beautifully. This Thank is lovely. You. I love what you said about the positive energy, because I definitely get that from this piece. And mm -hmm. I love that you can also see elements of your travels and culture. It's really beautiful. Thank Very you. Very inspiring. Wow. Well, thank you Good for work. joining us. And yeah, thank you. Congratulations. You did it. Yes. You did it. I know you're a little nervous, but you did it. All right. Well, enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. 41 Action News Midday is up next. We'll see you back here Monday at 10 a.m. And thanks for joining us, Crystal. <laughs>